just a glimpse of the scene at the Palace of Westminster before the Queen's arrival. Here you see some of the law lords coming in. Now the Yeoman of the Guard enter to make the traditional search. No alarming discoveries, however, were reported. The arrival of regalia included the imperial state crown, which Her Majesty was to wear when making her speech from the throne. And now, on a fine but misty November morning, the Queen and the Duke drive out. Prince Charles and Princess Anne watch from the palace. Many thousands all along the route had been waiting to cheer the royal couple on their way. Across Horse Guards Parade, to the accompaniment of loyal and affectionate greetings from her people, Her Majesty drove to Whitehall on her way to open the new session. The pageantry of the Royal Drive was especially familiar this coronation year, but there was perhaps particular significance in this ovation for the Queen and the Duke, for they would soon be leaving the shores of Britain on their great tour of New Zealand and Australia. And to these visits, the Queen said in her speech, she was eagerly looking forward. 